listeners. In today's discussion, I want to highlight and address a comment that came as a result of a short that I posted. And that short was about who can and shouldn't question the book of God. And the comment that came, it has profound implications on every single person who listens and every single person's responsibility is to share that information with others. Because that kind of comment comes from an atheist or a person who does not believe in Christianity and is trying to raise questions about the existential and the essence of Jesus. When I say the essence of Jesus, I am talking about the message that the God of Jesus, the God of Moses has sent. And if a person is trying to raise questions about a sign of God, that is Jesus, it's the responsibility of every single human being who believes in God to step up and make a case. Even though I'm not a Christian, I will make a case against that comment and I will show that why it is so important for people to realize that the book of God, whether it is Torah, whether it is Bible, the New Testament, whether it is Psalms or it is Quran, all of these books prove to each other and testify to each other that they are right. Yes, when I say they are right, I do want to classify something over here that they were revealed by God, their original message was from God. But after that, things have changed in some of these books. And we will discuss that in more detail later on. But right now, in this particular discussion, I want to make a point against this particular comment because this type of comment is is kind of like the start of something that deceives our children whether christian children or muslim children or any children out there when you instill in them satanic thoughts that is how the shaitan the satan starts to deceive people from the true path of god so the comment is what is more likely do you think The Virgin Mary was the mother of the Son of God or the Virgin Mary cheated on her husband and told him the child came from God. Then she filled the kid with lies that he was the Son of God to the point he himself believed it. To say Jesus was the Son of God because of his word would mean to believe all other lunatics today who believe they are Jesus. The only difference with now versus then is that we know more about the human condition and can tell when there is something wrong with their brain to cause that belief. The Jews were waiting for a savior for so long. Is it not possible that when they heard about Jesus being the son of God through word of mouth that they jumped on it? Without a second thought, desperation can lead to mistakenly putting your hopes on a random person. These are the questions that should be asked. Is Jesus and Christianity as a whole just a lie that desperate people popped up? I don't know for sure, but I think it's more likely than it than it being God chose them to show himself. Now, my dear brothers and sisters, this particular comment has a lot of negative connotations. How do you answer this comment? How do you raise awareness that this question, this comment is wrong fundamentally on every aspect of life? How is that possible? This is exactly what is happening in the world today that in the past people questioned the virginity of Mary, of Sayyidah Maryam. Why? Because they did not believe that the message of God was coming through Prophet Isa, Jesus. So how do you prove that this, what that person is asserting is wrong? 
there has to be some sort of witness who is witnessing what is being said is wrong and jesus was was not born because of relationship extramarital rather virgin mary was truly a virgin who would show that who will who will prove that that's where quran comes into picture because in quran allah says god says that he is clarifying a lot of misconceptions and is testifying about what is truth versus what is wrong he god is clearly saying in quran what actually happened so for example this argument that virgin mary and the son of god is a hypothesis it never happened rather virgin mary cheated on her husband and the son came from god that was the narrative that was created both both of them have their flaws first of all quran says that virgin mary was indeed a virgin she secluded herself from humanity when she secluded herself god sent an angel to tell mary that you will bore a child and that child will be a sign of god for humanity that was the message sent to mary when mary actually asked how can i have a son no one has ever touched me the angel said that is how god works he doesn't need any circumstances to prove his existence a lot of people a lot of atheists that they say that all of these are fairy tales they underestimate the power of god they underestimate the power of the divine and that is fine but for those who believe they have to believe that that is actually the case that virgin mary was indeed a virgin who was given this sign by god and it is confirmed in quran there is an entire chapter named after mary maryam so that's where god confirmed what was the truth and changed and challenged those who actually hurled these these blames on mary so that's one then he says then this person in the comment says she filled the son with lies that the that he himself believed that he was the son of god believing jesus as as the son of god because of his own words is like believing anyone who says that they, he or she is jesus well i would like to highlight something over here just very objectively not taking sides with any of the christians or any of the muslims just talking from the fact that is quran which has already proven which has already testified about the virginity of mary maryam that god himself says in quran that jesus never said that i am god example of jesus is that of adam who was created without a father and without a mother god has all the power to do whatever he wants wherever he wants jesus is not the son of god he never claimed what people claim afterwards is wrong so this person who is using the argument that son of god was a mentality that was introduced in jesus as a child by his mother is completely false because he never claimed he was son of god neither did mary claim that in quran it is clearly mentioned that mary pointed towards the son and he actually spoke in the crib that i am the prophet of god and then the last point is jesus was waiting or jews were waiting for a messiah for so long that they jumped on the concept well if jews were truly waiting which they are honestly they are waiting still they are waiting they saw the signs but they did not follow jesus in fact they are the ones who were responsible for the the atrocities that they were trying to murder jesus crucify jesus and god picked them up but the point is that they did not believe in jesus as the messiah until this day they are still waiting for the messiah 
so this is again a point that is refuted by quran so that's why it's important to understand there is a barometer there is a clear delineation of right versus wrong and that comes from quran and that delineation helps justify the christian beliefs that Jesus was born without a father. That helped defend Christians' belief against atheists who raise questions about these. And they also highlight that Jesus was able to show miracles. But at the same time, it also shows that a lot of the concepts, not a lot, only one big concept that Jesus is either the son of God or it is a part of a trinity, that concept is negated in Quran. But we will talk about other aspects of Jesus in Quran in the next podcast.